hyperthyroidism occurs due to increased secretion of parathyroid hormone from parathyroid gland. In this video, I will discuss about the extra findings of hyperparathyroidism, which is a high yield topic for MCQs. All of us know function of PTH is to increase calcium in blood. It acts on kidney and increases the absorption of calcium ion with exchange of phosphate, which results in hypophosphatemia. On the other hand, it breaks down the bone to release calcium in blood. In the bone, osteoblast has receptor for PTH. When parathyroid hormone binds to its receptor on osteoblast, it increases the release of rank ligand from osteoblast. It increases the release of rank ligand. Then this rank ligand stimulates the osteoclast which helps in resorption of bone. Parathyroid hormone causes destruction of the bone. Now when the bone is broken down, immediately the cavity will be filled with blood. Due to presence of hemoglobin, this blood will be red in color. Now, over time, this hemoglobin will be disintegrated and will produce hemosiderin, which is brown in color. So, there will be a cyst in the bone which is filled with brown colored fluid which is called brown tumor. It is also known as osteitis fibrosa cystica. In the X-ray plate, you can see this cyst-like structure in the bone. These are called brown tumor. PTH also causes subperiosteal resorption of the bone most commonly seen in the radial side of middle phalanx. In the picture, you can see this bony resorption. The next finding is acral osteolysis or tufting of phalanx. It refers to resorption of the distal phalanx. The terminal tuft is most commonly affected. If you, if you see the normal x-ray, you will understand the defect. Another finding is salt and pepper appearance of the skull. If you, if you compare it with the normal skull x-ray, you can understand the difference. In secondary hyperparathyroidism, there is a classical finding in the x-ray known as rugged jersey spine. Here, the end plate of the vertebral column is sclerosed and it appears like the jersey the rugby player wears. That's why it is called rugged jersey spine. See this end plate sclerosis of the vertebral column. I am erasing it so that you can appreciate it better. 